Hello, welcome back YouTube. I wanted to make this video to kind of paint a picture of what the next 18 months looks like, or the, basically what the bull run was to be expected uh, in this, uh, this cycle here and uh, kind of what we can do to kind of prepare for it. So the biggest thing I want to point out is I know that some people are you know, frustrated with the price action and kind of like what I talked about in my last video, the cycle is 18 months. This is not a one day thing. This is not, I mean, even the stock market bull run, even though it's not as explosive as crypto, it's not a two week thing or one week thing. These, those things typically go on for years. Uh, it, it's a, it's a period where there is obviously liquidity flowing in the market, but there's also liquidity flowing out of the market, but the trend is up. So we'll see some of those swings uh, during this, this run here. But for those of you who are, questioning the sideways movement or the little sell-offs and stuff like that just keep that in mind this is very normal for this to happen and i also want to point out the fact that if you were invested in crypto uh really in any of the top 10 coins prior to the bitcoin having of this year congratulations you were a part of the most aggressive pre-having run in crypto history most of the coins, if you have bought at any price in January or earlier um, in the in the entire bear market, you would be in profit right now. So even if you average down from 2020 to uh, somewhat of the lows of the bear market, you are in profit right now. This is the most aggressive pre-having run we've seen. I mean, even Doge right now, even at 15 cent, is up over 100 percent from where it was just a few months ago. Bitcoin is, has set a new all-time high prior to the halving. Um, I, I don't understand the um, cost for concern here when we are looking at assets that have that are now performing better than they ever had at the beginning of the cycle. Now, when it comes down to um, sell-offs and what that means as far as taking profits, sideways action, um, trading to supply and demand zones, all that kind of good stuff, historically, this happens quite consistently. Um, even if you look at where, let's go, I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, even if we're looking at the 2016 run and we had this like ascend up until like 2017, but obviously before we set the, the all time high, there are periods in here where we had aggressive sell offs. And, and that's one thing I wanted to point out in uh, if whether we're looking at this or even uh, for Doge, there are going to be periods where even though you're in the middle of a, a bull run, there's going to be an aggressive sell off and people will call the top and that may not necessarily be the top. Now, obviously, just like when it comes down to like timing the bottom, you don't want to try and time uh, the top. There'll be some indicators that you can use, but sometimes even them can be even those can be uh, skewed because of panic that's in the market. So it may not necessarily be the the end all be all in the uh, in the market. If it's not um, if, if it's not correlating to like some of that short term price action, obviously the the longer term if we're charting like where we are now, we're charting for uh, using da mostly daily. Like if we're on, on the, looking at the candles and stuff like that, just because we want stronger indicators, because we're not swing trading. But if we take a look at some of the daily price action and where some of these close that on the daily and prior runs. Um, you'll get it'll tell more of a true uh, honest story, right? Um, based off of price action, the swings, um, even you no know, manipulation in the last market, because we know that even though we had this peak here back in 2021, what was happening then, right? We see we, we were seeing uh Robin Hood, which was at the time the primary uh distributor of Dogecoin. If you wanted to get in, you went to Robin Hood. What were they doing? They were pausing a lot of the accounts. They were you know, doing unscheduled maintenances in the middle of runs at three o'clock in the morning. Those of us that were invested then, we remember those. Uh, these are things. These are all things that you have to prepare for. These are things that you need to be considering when going into this market. What you whether that's getting your coins on a ledger or something like that, and, and being prepared because there's a number of things that can cause these swings or these sell-offs and even panic in the market. Um, I want to see if I can zoom in here Oop. to 2016. I'm zoom in. 18. All 
Okay. All right. So we have this flat line here pretty much for uh, 2016. Now, this is 2017. This is prior to, this is lining up with what I just showed you on Bitcoin. This is prior to TikTok, um, and, you know, doing the videos about uh, Dogecoin. This is prior to Elon uh, endorsing Doge. This is prior to any of the tweets, FOMO, any of that good stuff. We see the overall price action here. We've seen these spikes here. Now, for a coin that has uh, a, a volume, a 24 hour volume of 1.27 million for it to go up to 69 million in 2017 for a 20, uh, pretty much a 68 X 69 X from what it was, um, you know, just a few months prior, that is absolutely huge. Now, if you're in that situation and you're saying, okay, well, you know, Bitcoin's running, the market's running and we have a sell-off, especially something where we go down back to 2.66 million, what would you say in that situation? You'd say, hey, that was the top. That is the, you know, the, the runs over. We're headed back into the bear market. But that was not the case. You know, there will be certain things where you'll see um, tops worth, no, that's not, oh, well, fake tops really uh, in the market where you'll see these great pumps and these sell offs. And that'll be interpreted as being the top. And I want to talk about that today uh, because I think that's very important when we're looking at the overall market. Obviously, uh, you have to do what's best for you and your household, your situation. Um, you know, you take profit or hold based off of your, um, you know, your preferences and, and really what's doing what's best for you and your family. But just consider that we will see these moments where even at some of these lower levels, and again, Doge is performing better than uh, it has prior to the having than any other point in time in history. But we we'll see certain times where we do these retests and you have people already calling 22 cent the top, right? Even for Bitcoin, some people, I know there's a lot of Bitcoin maxes out there, but there are some people calling the top for Bitcoin at around 70, 72 K and they're saying that, Hey, we set the all time high. It's consolidating. The bull runs over. Right. And if you don't believe me, go look on X. It's, it's, it's crazy. But, um, we will we'll see this period and more than likely we're not even going to, we're going to see even stronger periods of adjustment than what we've seen so far. And that really, that's really important that we kind of keep in mind that when we are looking at the catalyst for this run and even giving it some time, like what uh, historically, you know, around that 18 month period point where from where we go from the, uh, it's including prior to the having, it may be like a little pump before then, but you'll go from there to the consolidations, through the up and downs, and then you get to FOMO, right? Now FOMO is typically the, that, that's gonna be your big tell right uh you know the top is it's either already happening it's either happening right then or it's about to happen and you're about to have a big sell off right fomo is when you start seeing it on the news and it's just you know blasting off through the roof parabolic god candles the movement that we've seen uh so far is we haven't seen any parabolic movement right uh, we've seen some uh, strong movements but we have not seen like god candles and stuff that we've seen uh prior like 2016 2021 we have not seen like these straight vertical uh untest untested candles here where it's just blasting through um you know um, zones uh shorts don't matter it, like nothing matters it's just absolutely just taken off we have not seen that right we've seen news affect the these cryptos we've seen macros affect this crypto we've seen uh, will sell and affect this crypto. We've seen all of that, but when it starts denying everything and it just says, Hey, no matter what we're going up, that is when we start to uh, say, okay, well now we're reaching FOMO and people are buying no matter what the news is saying, no matter what's going on, then that's when you can start considering a top. We're not even close right now when we're considering um, this price action here. We are uh, simply really just uh, gathering liquidity. Uh, what we have done, which is remarkable is we've went through three, four different supply zones prior to the halving, right? So we consolidated here at around the 15. Now, like I was saying earlier, technically speaking, if we were looking at 2020 or 2016, Doge should still be around 8 cent, right? So this run right here, unprecedented, going up here, having the multiple retest at around 18, Having the push downs here to around 12 cent, going up to read from the multiple retest at around 22, and then getting the push down and now holding strong here at 15. All of this, I, like again, just consider it a blessing based off of history because technically this should not be happening. We should still be down here 
talking about, okay, well, over the next few months, we're going to start to grab some liquidity, get some of that spillover from uh, BTC as these institutions start taking uh, positions. And that's that, that happened early. Um, so, and obviously we haven't even gotten any of the individual catalysts like we were talking about in the last videos, like X payments, uh, futures, all that kind of good stuff, which are directly going to affect uh, trading volume and utility for the coin. We haven't gotten any of those yet. This is all just early positioning that we're looking at. And this is why I titled the video, patience and then equals patience with the PAY because being patient in these markets uh, is typically going to um, be rewarding. Why? Because from zone to zone, or, or first, excuse me, from cycle to cycle, we have not seen an asset trend lower, right? Especially in the top 10. Doge has never done it. Bitcoin has never done it. Uh, Ethereum has never done it. All of these coins, 100% of the time thus far, um, cycle to cycle, they have returned with a higher high and a, uh, reaching a new all-time high and a higher consolidation point every time, right? So, and and that's one of the biggest things. Until you see divergence, until you see divergence of the trend, there's not a cause for uh, concern just yet, right? All of that, consider it short-term short -term noise, right? Even if it came out and said, hey, we're going to short um, you know, Bitcoin down to 50,000 or uh, this, this is just an example. I mean, I'll, I'll be very uh, impressed if they did that, even for even for Doge, if they got it um, below this 13 mark, I'd be very impressed. Um, even if they did that, we'll say, OK, well, oh, the run's over. No, we have the retest and we had the volumes come in. And, and that's another thing, too. When you start looking at um, where is the strength coming from? Look at what happens when they retest it to the 13. Look at the wick on this candle here, right? Look at the wick on this candle here. This is major buying pressure coming in where the wick is actually longer than a candle. Look at this wick here, right? This is this was price action. This means that it at some point it was down to 13 cent, but where did it close? At 15. At some point, this was down to 12, 12 cent. And where did it close? 15. At some point, this was down to 12 cent. And this one closed at 14.25, or excuse me, this is a red, a green candle. It's, this one closed at 15, right? So this is the point here is that when you get down here, even when we did uh, have this closure down here at around 12.71, what happened the next day? The movement was so strong. We got an engulfing candle where it made up the previous two red days and it closed where? Back at 15. So the market, even if you have macro unfavorable news, all that kind of good stuff, the market is pricing in um, that 15 mark saying, that, hey, this is where we believe fair value, fair, fair value for the coin is right now. So and you have to kind of consider that when you are looking at the, the coin here before you start saying, hey, um, the run's over or there's there any more. Is there going to be any new all time highs and stuff this cycle? Consider where you are in the cycle and consider what the price action is telling you. Now, if you are, if you know that we're late in the cycle, we've, we've, uh, we're approaching FOMO or the catalysts aren't coming and the price action, it, we're not getting the strong movements. There's no rejections here. We're, we're getting the small, the volume is shrinking. Then, yeah, at that point, you need to start consider considering, OK, is this the top here? Do I need to take profits? Am I going to hold? Whatever. Those are decisions you need to make. But until we have that divergence from what's going on in, in the crypto market at large, um, we are on track, right? We, and, and obviously, if we get some divergence here, you will hear it here from me first. But um, until then, I will certainly uh, be keeping you guys updated because right now we are right on track. Uh, everything's right on track. Uh, obviously, the bigger zones above 15 are still 18 and 22. Um, we will be tracking those as we position for those retests. And if we do get a divergence on the macro level, or in the micro level, obviously, I'll let you guys know. But right now, we are positioned, the bull run, everything is still on. Everything is looking good. So uh, I wanted to just point that out to everyone. So if you found value in this video, please like the video, share it with a friend, help us get to 100,000 subscribers before Bitcoin gets to 100K. Uh, Bitcoin is definitely going over um, 100K this cycle. Uh, Doge is going to do some amazing things here. I have a, uh, I have it pinned at around $1.40. Uh, so if you can help us get there before Bitcoin does. I'll certainly be greatly appreciated. Leave a comment in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video.